Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are starting a brand new series, series 13, where we are going to discuss surface areas and volumes. Friends, this is episode number one, and today we are going to learn surface areas of a cuboid and a cube. So let's dive right in. Now, how do we find out surface area of a cuboid? Before we answer that question, it's very important, friends, to know your shapes. By that, what I mean is, before you find out surface area or volume of anything, cuboid, cube, cylinder, etc., etc., you must know what those shapes mean. How do you define those shapes? If you are not sure, please take a look at the series where we have talked about know your shapes, and each shape we have talked about separately. So, my assumption is that you know really what is a cuboid and a cube and a cylinder and a cone as we go through these webisodes. So having said that, so here we have drawn ourselves a cuboid, right? And we want to find out the surface area of a cuboid. So clearly, surface area is nothing but, <laughs> this may sound silly, but it is really area of the surface of the cuboid. We know that cuboid has six, it has six sides, right? Six sides or six uh, also known as faces, but a cuboid has six sides. So surface area of a cuboid will be equal to the area of the surface of six sides. So what is that? We What is meant by that, right? So this is the first side, the front side, which we are highlighting it in blue. Similarly, there will be a back side, which is going to be the exact same area as the front side. So the front and back, they make two of the six sides. Both of them are highlighted in blue. The equal areas, we are going to highlight them in the same color. Similarly, we will have the right side, which is highlighted in yellow. So this is the third side. And as you can imagine, there will be a left side, which is going to be again yellow, because the left side, right side will have the same area, right? And so we have covered four of the six surfaces. Now comes the top of the cuboid, which is the fifth surface. And finally, the last surface will be the bottom one, which we can't see because the cuboid is sitting on it, which is again going to be the same uh, as the, the red one, because the amount or the the actual surface area will be the same for the top and the bottom. So when we when we say surface area of a cuboid, what we are really saying is sum total of all of these six surfaces. So we measure each of these areas, six surfaces or six sides make up our cuboid. So if we take a look at each six areas and we add them, we will get the total surface area of a cuboid. Now that we understand conceptually what is meant by surface area of a cuboid, let's take a look at how do we find that. So here we have the same cuboid, so the length, the height, and the breadth, right? So first, the surface area of the front side. So this is the surface area of the, this is the front side highlighted in blue. So what is the surface area? The front side is a rectangle. And the two dimensions of this rectangle, they are, so this is length and this is height. So the area of this blue rectangle will be length times height. Length times height. That is the area of this front side. Similarly, the area of the back side, which is exactly opposite to the front side, will be again the same because this is again the same rectangle. So this rectangle will have, this is length and this is height, so the area of this will be exactly length times height, the same as the front one, right? So one and two, the front side and the back side surface area will be, for each one of them, it will be length times height. Now similarly, let's take a look at the right side of the cuboid. So this is the rectangle and the two dimensions for this rectangle are breadth and height. So the area of this rectangle, which is highlighted in yellow, will be breadth times height. This is the right side of our cuboid. So as you can imagine, similarly, for the left side, which is right across the right side, this, this rectangle highlighted in yellow will be again 
the same as this so area for that will be also breadth times height right now the two sides which are left they are the top and the bottom so each one of them the top and the bottom will be the area will be this is the length times this is the breadth so the fifth which is the top uh, the top side surface area will be breadth length times breadth and similarly bottom which we can't see because the cube is sitting on it that area will be the same as the top side area which will be length times breadth so now if we have to find out the total surface area of a cuboid when we say surface area of a cuboid we are talking about total surface area of a cuboid they mean the same thing whenever the surface area is given it means a total surface area so total surface area will be nothing but we have to simply add all of the six sides or the surface areas for all the six sides that will give us a total surface area of the cuboid in other words if we actually do that we are going to get two times length times breadth plus length times height plus breadth times height because we saw that the front and the back are same they were both color coded in blue the right side and the left side are both the same they were color coded in yellow and the top side and the bottom side were the same they were color coded in red that is why we have twice two times length times breadth plus length times height plus breadth times height so that gives us the total surface area or surface area of a cuboid which is again two times length times breadth plus length times height plus breadth times height right now let's take a look at what is meant by lateral surface area you will come across this term whenever we talk about surface areas this lateral surface area this is also known as in an abbreviated form as LSA so the total surface area is sometimes known as TSA or T for total total surface area right but this LSA L stands for lateral lateral surface area so what is this what is a lateral surface area the lateral surface area is surface area of only the sides the top and the bottom are excluded that means lateral surface area is nothing but surface area of only the sides or you take the total surface area and you subtract the surface area of the top and the bottom surfaces that means think about uh, think about the room in which you are sitting in if that is in a shape of a cuboid then lateral surface area will mean the surface area of the four walls it will not include the ceiling and the floor so only the sides the top and the bottom are excluded so the formula will be the surface area of only the sides or total surface area minus the surface area of the top and the bottom surfaces so now that we understand what is meant by lateral surface area let's take a look at so how will we find it so the lateral surface area of a cuboid will be equal to so it will be the sum total of the blue sides and the yellow sides the red ones are excluded so it will be two times length times height plus breadth times height so it will be twice length times height plus breadth times height that will be LSA of a cuboid or lateral surface area of a cuboid so now friends let's take a look at what about cube so for cuboid now we have learned total surface area also known as surface area of a cuboid and also we have seen what is LSA or lateral surface area and how do we find it now let's take a look at a cube right so what is a cube we know that cube is exactly the same as cuboid except that all the dimensions are the same that means that if length of a cube is two units the breadth is also two units and the height is also two units if the length is 10 unit the breadth is equal to 10 unit and height is equal to 10 unit so whatever is the measure of one side all other sides they have the same measure right that is the definition of a cube cube is exactly the same as cuboid except that all 
the three dimensions, they have the same measure, right? So now that said, let's take a look at the surface area of a cube. So the total surface area of a cube will be two times length times breadth plus length times height plus breadth times height, where L, B, N, H are length, breadth and height of a cube respectively. So let's say they are all equal to A. That is the measure if length is equal to A, then breadth is also equal to A and height is also equal to A. So then in that case, if you replace L, B and H with A, you will get 6A square. So total surface area, total surface area of a cube will be 6A square when A is the measure of the side of a cube. So now let's take a look at lateral surface area of a cube. Lateral surface area of a cube. So that will be 2 times length times height plus breadth times height, which will be if you replace L, H and B with A, you will get that value as 4A square. So which is also very intuitive because if this is A and if this is A, so this will be A square. Each of the sides is A square because we are looking at four sides. So if each side is A square area, then we are looking at four sides. We are not including the top and the bottom side. So it will be 4A square. That will be the lateral surface area of a cube. 